Hello, my name is Jonathan, and today we're going to create an Outlook profile in Windows 10 for a hosted exchange mailbox with ActiveSync enabled. If you have an Office 365 mailbox, you can check out my video for that process. Or if you have a POP or IMAP, I have videos for those as well. Outlook profiles become corrupt for millions of different reasons. Sometimes you'll get various error messages, or sometimes a feature within Outlook will stop working correctly. Nine times out of 10, these are because the profile become corrupt and nine times out of 10, creating a new Outlook profile will fix this issue. There are three main ways to create an Outlook profile, through control panel, through the profiles Outlook switch command, and directly through Outlook. For this video, we're gonna be doing directly through the control panel. First, you're going to launch the control panel by clicking start in the bottom left hand corner. And we're just gonna type in control. And then we're going to click the top option here, the control panel app. This will launch the control panel. In the top right, we're gonna click in the search control panel and we're gonna type in mail and hit enter. And then we're just gonna go here and left click on the mail applet. Yours might look different from mine, but that's perfectly fine. This will bring up the mail window. From here, we're just gonna click on add and then name the profile. You can name a profile anything, it doesn't really matter. I just typically name mine Outlook. And then from here, we're gonna add the account. Just fill in the information, first name, last name, then your email address. It's gonna be the email for that ActiveSync enabled mailbox. And then either password here, and then you're gonna to have to retype the password, and we'll click next. It's gonna go out and it's gonna to try to configure and pull down those settings with the ActiveSync protocol. And you might get a window like we have here. This is to, using a, a record to make sure that it is the correct profile settings. You can just click on don't ask me again and allow. And then it's gonna want the credentials again, so just put in the password and click on remember my credentials, click okay. And there we go, it's been set up. Your congratulations, your email account is successfully configured and ready to use. I always like to uncheck this setup outlook on my phone too, because it will launch a web page. We can click finish and then we can go start, scroll down for outlook launch Outlook, and depending on the size of the mailbox, it might take a little while to pull down and sync all your mail. But once it does, it will load the profile in and all your mail should be flowing. Thanks for watching the video. Hope it was helpful for you.